do this. Great, I see Damien is in the house. Ansley, how's it going? Taya, everybody is here. Sorry for the slight delay, my internet wouldn't connect <laughs> for some weird reason. Ansley, how you doing, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, obviously, you're here. Uh, Gillian, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so obviously, for those that are watching this, Aristotle, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Uh, Paul, how's it going, brother? Today, we're talking about the 32 books that I read this year that have managed to actually double um, and also help me uh, be, do, and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Stephen Kelly, most of your books are on here as well. Champion, thank you so much um for you know your contribution to this year's reading um agenda all right so obviously as you would know guys um i viscerally believe that uh, every business should be profitable and enjoyable and i also believe that if you're an entrepreneur you should be able to create for and also relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of and i also believe that every human being should be able to live to learn and to contribute. All right. So, you know, you know, um, if you're watching this uh, show right now, Stephen said, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching this show right now and you're hoping, um, you know, uh, Colin Rice says, I reckon I gave red list and your about 20 so far. <laughs> Great stuff. I don't know what you mean about that. But if you're watching this show and expecting to hear about how to earn a gazillion dollars with no effort, um, I suppose this will be the wrong show for you. I really want to help you to find happiness and growth and also, um, you know, write stories about what exactly it is that you're doing in order to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I see Jody Fraser has just tuned in. Tough. <laughs> Asma Zwane, it's out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, that's all good. And um, basically, my work really um, involves helping you to invent remarkable products and services, you know, and, and, and being able to actually tell people stories about that. Because let me tell you something. People already have whatever it is that we're selling. All they want is the connection to the seller and also the stories that justify their own existence. All right. So my basic ethos is going around a four-step system that I help you capture the right kind of leads, uh, create the right kind of content so that you can engage your audience and convert those people, um, you know, by solving their problems and not selling to them and then connecting with them, thereby creating your own authority, branding and having loyal ambassadors in the process. I see Matthew Corley has just tuned in how's it going there brother all right so this video is basically going to show you everything you need to know um about the books that i read this year and how you two can actually start creating for and relating to your own um audiences as well so i essentially help small businesses like yourself grow using digital marketing strategies and every single day at 2 p.m aest we sit around here if i'm not out at a speaking event or doing something um that takes up much of my time i will be sitting here and um, having a chat with you we've also introduced yet another show that you need to check out the friday um show called ask and prosper where you can ask questions and then i will answer them all right so in that show i will be helping you build systems that your business can actually operate on autopilot and i'll help you generate um leads and also revenue and you can work around your business using um you know pr and branding so if you've got any questions make sure to tune in on the one hour segment on friday that is basically designed to be answering all of your questions and um you know, uh, making sure that, you know, um, I'm helping you uh, either start, scale and grow a business that is actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, Ansley says, I see we like the same books 
uh, basically, you know why? Uh, birds of a feather, they actually do flock together. All right, so you might be wondering, okay, I did put a post out there and I've counted the books actually reach at 36 because I also have extra books that I constantly refer to that I'm also going to be talking about, um, you know, in this segment here. All right, so, you know, there is no cookie cutter um, to how to to start a business, to how to operate a business. There's no, there's no definitive process um, as to how you can create content or how you can relate to your audience. You just have to be yourself. You just have to pre present uh, to people what is of value to them because people don't care what it is that you sell. They care what it is that you can provide to them. And in reality, you know, when you're just starting out in business um, and, 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 you know, most of us, we're still probably working in another job, which is what other people are still doing or in some capacity working for somebody else. And we don't have the time to actually create, um, you know, content for our audiences. And hence, we start feeling like we are an imposter. All right. And Mike says, uh, Prosper wearing that tie. Thank you so much. I love this tie so much. Um, and Luke says, do it for the fans. Absolutely. If you're not a dabbler, you know, if you're really, really doing it, not just for your own satisfaction and following petty, um, you know, strategies that really don't work, you will find, um, you know, happiness and, you know, you'll, you'll have a meaningful business that people would actually want to follow. All right. So what I've done is at the end of the day, when you're reading, even people like Warren Buffett, even people like Bill Gates, they actually a lot and give time to consuming content that is first of all classical and second of all non-contemporary all right once you start reading books because when somebody writes a book they're putting in all the knowledge that they have acquired um you know, throughout all the times. Have you ever noticed that within, if you buy a course, even if you purchase it for 3,000 or 4,000, you are not given the full, um, you know, information. You're not given the full depth of what it is that you want. But if you buy a $5 book or a $2 book, people put in their all in this because they want to leave a legacy. Right. So why cheat yourself into purchasing a very, very expensive course when somebody has laid it down in a book and they're actually putting in all that information in the in the back of these pages? But then maybe sometimes some people like reading using, um, you know, um, I mean, some people don't like reading physical books. Some people might enjoy reading the Kindle or using um, audio or um, what do you call it? Audio, audio books. That's. Other, that that way as well is a really good way of consuming content as long as you are enhancing what you know right now and what you're going to be giving out to 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 people that are following you there all right because people come to the internet to to um to um People come to the internet to get information, right? So if you're the person that's providing them um, with information, they get to know you, like you, and trust you. And you never run out of things to say, do, or be, all right? Now, Mike says, this inspired a video idea, my friend. Thank you. Are you also going to do a review of the books that you've done? You can easily review each and every book that you read, but I've just let it, because this is not something, um, you know, that, that I, 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 put as the be it and end all to my business but the 32 books that i read this year have actually made a big difference now as they said i love physical books to hold relaxing with a cup of coffee and a good book the reason why i really love holding a book is because it, it is a pattern break all right every part of my work is digital you know what i mean every single thing that i do for my business is either through a mobile screen or a computer screen or a laptop screen all right so if i take myself off of that and consume a book that takes my brain to actually tell me we're now doing something totally different right now and every single day we have 24 hours a day i aim to read for at least four of those hours all right. I'm not meaning reading four consecutively, but this is how I read. 
I've got an app called the 3030 app, which basically runs through the Pomodoro um, philosophy, all right? So what the Pomodoro, what it does is it allows you to concentrate and do deep work for 30 minutes, all right? We've got 24 hours. Now, every 25 minutes within an hour is when your mind is sharp, is when you actually really uh, retain all the information that you get to read, all right? But what happens now is the whole of the time you, you are, you've lost your concentration. So I read for 30 minutes for whatever hour that I'm free. This is exactly how I then accumulate those 30 minutes segments into, um, into, into, um, a four hour, um, you know, block of, of, of things that I do out, out there. So 24 hours a day, I read four of those without fail. All right. So that's basically how I managed to be head and shoulders above quite a lot of people. That's how I managed to always have content and always have something to say. All right. You might have heard about the ant and the grasshopper story, um, you know, where the grasshopper was doing nothing all year through and the ant was just chomping away and pecking all the seeds for summer. The grasshopper was chilling, relaxing, even getting fat and not doing anything with their time. But what were the ants doing? They were pecking away food for the winter. Now, when winter came in, what happened to the grasshopper? He had no food. He had no place to stay because he did not make hay while the sun was shining. All right. So at the end of the day, you really want to make sure that you've got all the information just to get ready for when your clients are asking you for it or when they need to know what is your differentiating position, what makes you unique or what makes you different from everybody else that's in the market out there. It's what you read, what you consume, and how you present yourself to the market, all right? So at the end of the day, all the stuff that we see coming in through our newsfeed, that's all contemporary education. You know what happens? It's people that have read something, and then they put it in their own words, and now they sell it to you because they've managed to package it well. I'm not saying go out there and consume, consume, consume. But what I'm really trying to educate you on is there is a lot and a wealth of information that you can cheaply get. And most of these books, if you understand, I get them from a thrift shop and I pay plus or minus $2, $3 per copy. And I also did ask um, members of my audience to send me a couple of books as birthday presents and some of them are listed on here. So it's not difficult for you to acquire all this wealth of information and knowledge from you know your, your, your peers and those people that you're providing value to. It's called reciprocity, all right? So there is quite a lot of ways that you could do. You could say, oh, I don't have space to keep the books. You could read the books and then you could always um, you know, donate them back to the thrift shop so you don't accumulate um, if you don't have storage space. Because scientific evidence also points to the fact that reading is, 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 um, is a way to significantly improve, first of all, your terms of your health, your wellness, your wealth, you know, your mental um, acuity, your stress levels, um, your sleep quality, really, because you've taken your eyes off of the blue light off, which is being emanated by our, um, you know, mobile phones. Now, Ansley says, have you read the book Success Left a Clue? Um, no, I haven't, Ansley. I don't think I have, but I, I would check if I have it in my... Um, um, in my, uh, you know, in my library there. So over the past year, I've made it a habit to continuously read, whether it's books, um, you know, on, 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 on this pile or some that I use as reference, etc., etc. Okay. So I'm not here to recommend any books. I'm just giving you a report as to what has made such a big difference within my business. What has made such a big difference within my family? What has made such a big difference in the client's retention that I have? Because at the end of the day, if you are out there looking for customers, the last thing you need is to continuously chase people that do not want to hear your story. So if you've got a message that is going to a specific market, Whatever media you're going to be choosing, it doesn't matter because people will choose how to consume you as long as you put stuff out there that is valuable to them, that is meaningful to them, and that could impact or change their lives. 
All right. So it's not a matter about, you know, reading um, stuff that would, um, you know, you turn your life around instantly. But you never know when that information is needed. All right. So take, for example, this T have a um, half acre book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Inside of this book is now um, 10 declarations that I take every single day, which is now constituted to become part of my morning routine. Some of them are it, it, it asks me to declare that my inner world creates my outer world. Sorry, I'm reading because I, I printed out um, the printout there and it's part of my morning routine. Every time I come into the office, I read that and it re-energizes me and reminds me of what secrets millionaires actually do because I'm an aspiring um, one to come up there. Now, um, Anthony said, I'd like to give you a copy if you don't have it, a fabulous teacher, a mentor, also learn from his book, not long to come out. Absolutely. Um, yeah, make, 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 um, make it a point to find out what my address is. And thank you so much for offering there, Ansley. And then second book that I read that made a big impact um, in my life was the monk that uh, sold his Ferrari. Okay, just looking at this book by itself, it doesn't look like anything, but it's an incredible story about a guy who was a superstar lawyer. He had it all, but he went on a journey to self-discovery, which is what a lot of us are doing in the process, which is what we are all embarking on because you can't hit a target that you cannot see. So books like this, it's a really small read. I think I did this in a, in, in a day or two. And by the time I finished, I had a newfound list on life. Okay. And then I went on and I read the new dynamics of winning. All right. This might sound like a very old book by Dennis Whiteley. And if you can check, I bought this book for $2. All right. This new dynamics of winning was written, I think, in 1999. But it's still valuable to the local and the modern um, way of doing things, all right? We are focusing on our minds on peak performance all the time. There's so many di disruptions um, in the process. There's a lot of people that are paying heavy prices for things they can actually get for free. So once, once you start knowing that there's a lot of people that are ready to hand you over their, their, their mind, their knowledge, and everything else out there, these are the new dynamics of winning. And I read this in about two hours or two days. I'm not quite sure. But at the end of the day, it's something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. All right. Now, this is my favorite book of all year. Uh, my, all Marketers Are Liars. What this book basically is about is about telling your story. All right. It is how successful marketers are just providers of stories that consumers believe in. Everyone is telling a story, the way you dress, the way you talk, what's around you, who is around you, the groups you are joined into. All of that stuff is telling a story to your consumers. Now, if you are not, um, you know, intentional about the story that is being told, then people will still tell that story regardless of you being involved in it. So it is one thing that you should be conscious about. What are your clothes saying about your story? What are, what are the things around you saying about your story? What you say, who you say it to, and how you communicate to other people? All right. That was a really, really good book. And I highly recommend um, Seth Gordon's books. No matter what it is, I just buy it sight, uh, sight unseen. Now, this is one other book that made a big difference. The Go-Giver. A little book and a little story about a powerful business idea. The more you give, the more you get to keep. All right. So, you know, most people love when they hear the secret about, um, you know, um, that a lot of success stems in giving. You know, right now I'm giving off of my time, this 30 minutes, whether you're watching or you're not going to be watching or you're going to pass by because you, you basically either just hate that I, I show up every single day or you hate yourself. I don't care. I am just giving. Those that are going to take it on, take it on board. They're the ones that are actually going to, um, you know, utilize this, take it, take it wherever they want to take it and get the information that's in this video. So I recommend you read the go giver so that you understand the key to actually winning in business is giving away nearly everything for free and you will actually get it back in abundance. All right. Now, this is one book that is 
crucial for every entrepreneur um you know library it talks about the five step process on how to make things contagious it was written by a gentleman called Jonah Berger all right so the five step process basically is social currency um the triggers that you know are already happening in your customers environment what emotions are you actually bringing out why should people care about your story and about your work and do any of the things that you're doing have a public appeal can they be done in public do they actually have practical value like this video here are you going to have any value coming out of this book or coming out of this video that you can utilize or is it me just waffling about and nobody really cares and am i telling a good story right cuz stories are very important because then stories will then formulate how people perceive you how people can tell their friends about who you are what you do and how you can help them all right now this book again the millionaire messenger is a story about how your life story is of greater importance and market value than you can ever perceive because we all coming in from somewhere we all have lessons to teach other people we all have things to learn all right but if you're not putting yourself out there if you're not helping others by contributing whatever your story is or what your contribution to humanity is then you're being left out all right i recommend this book the millionaire messenger it shows you exactly how to create a million dollar business that is based on giving off of your own story because you as a consultant as a coach as um, an online business person you are the primary product all right you are what people buy into because people already have all they want and people already have all the services they want but they want to buy your story they want to buy your own contribution your your you know your take on things all right so that's exactly what's happening and the millionaire messenger is a really good book to check out uh, by Brendan Bashard all right and in the process i've been writing my own book as well as you can see this whole book is handwritten all the way through all right so this is probably going to be ready by april um 2018 so expect the online prosperity blueprint that has been already handwritten it just needs to be handed over to some people that can decode this and um interview me a little bit more and we can put a book out there hooray for me all right so i'm not going to really talk about these two uh market books there on the market already expert secrets i've just bought them just to find out what the hype was about it's just a regurgitation of what's out there on the market but for some people it's like really good news really new and new and old so yeah i can't say much about that cuz he's contemporary now i read this book design you by um tina mari okay she is a um um a, a designer turned um you know um life coach and etc etc it's got so many different insights about your environment and how creating a space around you can actually constitute how you concentrate in work etc etc recommend you checking out tina's work right there all right and then this is one book that i'm still um reading it's called the consultant's calling Every one of us is a consultant whether you accept it or agree it or not we are basically going through um you know a a a a phase where we have to decode information to give it to our audience so that they too can have a business or a life that's um you know uh, profitable and enjoyable beginning of the year i was into my investment and i read this book uh by cam mcleelan of medimin person he's a really good bloke he knows his thing um it's basically about um property investment especially if you're in australia um you know how to pretty much pick up 10 properties in 10 years which is what my um um which is what my uh yeah my personal goal is i won't really go into that but it's also good to know a thing or two about property investment now one of the book that was really really good was called attracting perfect customers by stacy hall and yan brognis all right so this book exactly tells you the kind of person you have to be because like attracts like All of this stuff that we keep doing about trying to create a website or uh you know trick our customers into wanting to jump into our mailing list 
You really want to know the people that you're going to deal with. You really want to make sure that they're the right kind of people with the right kind of pain that you can solve their problems. And so that they are going to continuously buy from you. Because it's much more expensive to pick up um, you know, new customers than it is to pick on customers that already know, like, and trust you. So you want to make sure, um, if you can, look out for this book. It's really, really good or not. It depends. I also wrote another book. All right, so you will check it out. Um, this one is probably going to be ready in August, but it's ready. Um, this is um, this book is, um, is is basically going to be um, a, 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 an in depth of the online prosperity blueprint, and I'm just talking about how to actually attract your best customer, how to attract the best job, the best wife, etc, etc. It's just a rerun of my story, how it came to be, and um, you know how I came uh, to Australia with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams, and now I've created all of this, and um, a lot of people are enjoying it too. All right, and then there's this really small book, I think I read it within a day, uh, by O.G. Mandino. I thought he was African by the sound of the name, but it was all good. It's called The Greatest Salesman in the World, all right? So, obviously, what you are today and what you are in the world right now, it's not important. You know why? Because you're going to continuously grow. If you're not growing, if you're not reading as much as stuff, or if you're not putting yourself out there for your clients, to know who you are and exactly what it is that you do and how you can help them, then you are as good as dead, all right? So like I said, guys, uh, my whole mission is to leave, learn, and contribute, okay? So uh, Rick says, I love OG. Thank you so much for that. And then some people, no matter what your, um, you know, your inclination really is, I, um, I love Donald Trump. I love where he's come from as a business person. I love, you know, how he's always disrupting industries, you know, the whole TV industry, etc., etc. And this book is called Think Like a Champion. I want to be a champion. I want to be the greatest in my industry. I want to be the best there ever was. All right, I want to be the best there is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever shall be. All right, so it might not be in your world, but in my world, I'm going to be a champion at this marketing thing. So that's the reason why I want to start learning to think like a champion, do like a champion, and be like a champion. I also got sucked into a Nick Singal's um, book, Circle of Profit. It basically elaborates what happens um, you know, on the internet, how you get the leads, how you create landing pages, etc., etc. I recommend um, getting this book. You know, it, it's good for you. Um, jab, jab, right hook. I read this um, because um, a very good friend of mine sent this book to me. Um, it was one of the presents that I got um you know, on, on the birthday, Chris, thank you so much for, for this book. Chris Aguilar, if you're going to be watching this video later, give me some thumbs up. So I read this book. It's basically about how Gary Vaynerchuk is creating his um, whole economy around him as the brand and how he's also helping other people be, do, and have what it is that he's doing. It's undoubtable that this guy is rich, okay? I've read, this is the second book of his. I've read, obviously, I mean, he's making America great again, whichever way he's doing it. I don't care about that. I'm worried about his billions and how he got there. And you know what I mean? It's, it's just one of those books that you just read and then regret a little bit later. All right, so lions do not need to roar. This is one of the last books I read, and that's why you notice... Um, I don't post that much on social media anymore. I think I've created so much of a um, so much of a name for myself in as much as those that really want to follow and find out will seek me out. I've got so much content out there. This book showed me how not to compete and want to, um, you know, you don't need to roll for people to realize how good you are. So that's the reason why you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of, you know, asking questions out there, um, et cetera, et cetera, you know, because, yeah, you, you're not any different to all those wannabe people. Duncan Musaka, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. Paul says, hey, brother, what's your number one for 2017? The number one book that I read for 2017, I've already, uh, I haven't gotten to it, right? But it's this one here. Seth Gordon Lynchpin. 
All right. Are you indispensable in the business that you're doing right now? Everybody else can be a consultant. Everybody else can be a coach. But what sets you apart from everybody else? And from this book, that's when I dis- designed, um, you know, how I'm helping people with their own four step, five step, six step processes because everybody else is claiming to be a consultant, a coach or whatever. But if you're not in the, um, you know, the universe or in the world right now, will people miss you? So this book really got me to start thinking, am I a linchpin or am I just a has-been? All right. So this is my number one book poll. Thanks for asking about that. All righty, all righty, all righty, where are we at? And then obviously key person of influence, um, there's five things you got to do. I think this was uh, Daniel Presley's book. Um, you got to you gotta publish, you got to uh, have a pitch, you got to um, have some sort of a presentation. What's the five-step method that he talks about in this book? So you got to have a pitch, you got to publish, um, of which I'm going through all those uh, stages um, even with that, doing the course, he's got all the information in this book, so no need for that. Um, like I was saying, all the information that we're looking for, guys, people really already have put it in a book somewhere. So if you really want to propel and if you really, really, really want to succeed in business, guys, make sure you actually are making a difference out there. And um, yeah, you're reading and you're consuming because if you cut an orange in half and you squeeze it, what comes out of it? Orange juice, right? So whatever you put into your mind, whatever comes in there is what is definitely going to come out. Right now, you never hear me talk about the news. You never hear me talking about current affairs because I'm not inputting myself with that. I am spending all this time, you know, p- putting all this information into my head. All right, so I'm just going to quickly go through the rest of the books. Um, this one is called Passionate Performance. Um, it just really reiterates the passion that I have and how you can actually show people and distinguish yourself in the market by actually loving what you do. And then there's also the new positioning. Because if you're not positioned as an expert, if you're not positioned as somebody that can help people um, and actually help them by actually helping them, then why would people take their time to watch you, listen to you, or even share your content? And then there's this book here that I got from a mate as well, the No Bullshit Direct Response Social Media Marketing. That's why my social media is off the charts because I learn from the greats. I don't learn from our contemporary uh, social media rah-rah people. I actually learn from people that are making oodles amounts of money from their social media. And also, The Secrets of Small Business Owners Exposed. I read this book so that I get an understanding of who my client really is because you can't speak to an audience that does not respect you. You can't speak to an audience that does not understand or know what it is that you're talking about. Yet again, Donald Trump um, with Robert Kiyosaki, the Midas Touch. He talks about five principles um, that you really need to do and be, do, and have either a business or a life that really is, um, you know, really, really good. And then there's this Dexter Yaga book. It's called A Millionaire's Common Sense to Wealth. All right. So. A lot of people just dabble with life. Yes, Bitcoin comes in. Yes, this comes in. This comes in. And you can tell the depth of what they know by how shallow their statements are or their statuses are. All right. So there's common sense to how millionaires actually think. There's languages of money. There's languages of really getting, um, you know, people, um, you know, to actually understand who you are as a person and actually understand where they can put you on the totem pole. Now, I'm going to end off with, not end, but I also read how to get consulting clients fast, obviously. Um, This is from Frank Kern. I was in his mastermind, uh, but not anymore. At the end of the day, it's just one of those things you, you need to know what else is on the market, what other people are thinking of. On the market. And then also, last but not least, uh, Natasha Denham's book. She's a contemporary writer. I've met her, not in person, but I've interviewed her on my show. And she's talking about the 1,000 days to a million dollar coaching business from home. Obviously, I wanted to find out how she did it, what she does, and how she's been doing it. Last but not least, my biggest book of the year um, after Seth Gordon's book is Start With Why. All right? I don't know if you've noticed every time, I think ever since I finished reading this book, 
I have been coming through and letting you know that every single time that I believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. All right. Every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And that's my why. And that's I want to help people to be to and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable as well. Um, look, I think you're just jumping in. I already have two books that are ready to go to be printed. All right. So they're all handwritten as we speak. This book is the Online Prosperity Blueprint. It's ready to go. And then this is going to be a sequel of the Online Prosperity Blueprint. All right. So as soon as this can be decoded into legible and printable information, the books are out there already. 2018, you will be getting books from me. All right. Now, there's also books that I don't read to finish, but I read um, you know, as references, this one is an encyclopedia of making money um, sales letters. These are all the sales letters that help you either when you're starting off with your client, etc., etc. All the copy that you need, they allow you to swipe this, um, you know, so that you can actually use it. So this is not a book that I, I read to finish. I read to uh, refer to. All right. And also copywriting in action. This was written by Nicholas de Tempora. You need a bit of copy for people to actually understand what you're saying and put your ideas into context. So yeah, this is a book that I also refer to. And then there's also how to do just about everything to succeed. All right. So there's, there's certain things like how to, yeah, how to plan a wedding, small things that you would never thought you'd need to read about. I also use this as a reference. So guys, that's all the stuff that's in there. All those books, I transferred them there, and now we're just regurgitating. Now, Stephen Kelly says, awesome list, man. I added more to my list for 2018. Absolutely, absolutely. So I can't thank you enough for bearing with me on this video today. It was all raw, but yeah, it's all the content that I've been managing to um, inject into this small head because I've made my life, my business all revolve around me being a better person, a better contributor so that I can live a life that's worth remembering. And so I can um, also um, learn as much as I go, as, as many things that I can, because you can't do well if you don't feel well and you feel, um, you know, insufficient if you are not equipped upstairs. So I've put a challenge uh, to myself. I did 32 books this year. Um, I want to challenge myself to double the amount of books that I'm going to read. And I already have the books anyway, all right? So it's not going to be big. I'm just going to try and cancel all the non-work stuff that I'm doing out there and major rise in reading. So how am I going to do that? The four hours that I dedicate to reading every single day, I'm going to add one extra hour so that I read five hours a day, all right? And before you know it, I'm going to continuously grow. And if you want to grow with me in 2018, you're more than welcome. But if you are just going to be dabbling it's nice knowing you you all know that i'm serious about my growth because i want to be the best at this motherfucker i want to be the best at this i want to be the best in the world in your world in my world everybody else's world that i touch in the meantime i really hope you're gonna have a fantastic day nicole you can always watch um this video's replay um you're a little late and uh nella thank you so much for tuning in um, and I hope this is um, one of those things that you will also watch the replay of this. And if I can help you in any way, shape or form, please don't hesitate to um, explore that option. In the meantime, remember, I really want that your business is profitable and enjoyable. And I really want that you go out there and create for and relate to to those people you're going to be demanding money off of, all right? Um, if I can be of help, don't hesitate to, um, you know, um, explore that option. Like I said, Nella, um, you'll be watching the replay. Thank you so much for that. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and thanks for tuning in.